There is some debate surrounding New Jean's last music program performance. The controversy arose during their performance on Espes Inkigayo on July 30, when they prominently featured the iPhone 14 Pro, which they are endorsing, on stage while performing their new song Ada. Approximately 20 seconds of indirect advertisement were shown during their 2 minute and 30 second performance, causing viewers to dispute. Members of New Jeans were observed using iPhones to take pictures of each other and the audience near the end of the performance. The program used iPhone camera viewpoints, alternating between shots of members holding iPhones and shots of members with iPhones. This advertising strategy was met with mixed reactions. Some viewers voiced dissatisfaction, comparing it to seeing an infomercial on a music performance. They wondered if music broadcasting shows were becoming a kind of home buying network. One internet user created a debate by questioning whether there had been a breach of the Korean Communications Commission's key C regulations. Some viewers, on the other hand, considered the notion innovative and in line with music videos, praising the group's attempt at something new. When other artists have specific brand names in their songs, the broadcast show makes them edit their lyrics or blur out logos. But why is New Jeans advertising on stage? One netizen at. This isn't the first time New Jeans has used the iPhone to promote itself. The group heavily featured iPhones and was filmed on an iPhone 14 Pro as part of the concept in their music video for e creating a scenario of a party where the members dance while using their iPhones to capture pictures of a male protagonist. The controversy sparked discussions among fans and industry experts. Some argued that it was an ingenious marketing tactic, cleverly blending the boundaries between entertainment and commercial promotion. They believed that as long as the endorsement was clearly disclosed and did not overshadow the artistic performance, it could be considered a form of art itself. However, others were concerned that this kind of advertising might set a precedent, leading to more invasive product placements during music shows and other entertainment events. They worried that artists might be pressured to incorporate specific brands into their performances, compromising their artistic integrity. In conclusion, New Jean's performance on Inky Gayo sparked a heated debate about the intersection of music, entertainment, and commercial endorsements. While some viewers appreciated the innovative approach, others were concerned about potential implications for the future of music broadcasting. As the industry grappled with these questions, it became clear that artists and broadcasters would need to strike a delicate balance between artistic expression and commercial interests to satisfy both audiences and regulators. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to the channel with the bell button on because this would really make me motivated to make new videos for you. You might love these two videos, so check them out right now.